this is very cool. Oh, hey. So we got this really cool uh, VR setup where we're using pulleys. So instead of tripping over this cable all over the place, now it's nice up in the air and we can actually you know, use it effectively. You know, we still have to watch out for it you know, turning and so forth, but this is a great system. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna show you how we did it, how we put it into the studs, the joists, and, uh, and put this three-way pulley system together and, uh, and stay tuned and we're gonna show you how we did it. A stud finder to locate the ceiling joist. Oh look, there's a ceiling joist right there. So we use the yellow tape and an ink pen to indicate the approximate center of the joist. That's where we're gonna put the first swivel coming out of the system. Yep, and note that we used frog tape. Yeah. Frog tape, good. Correct, because on a blue 3M painter's tape, you'll never see the ink mark indication because it's dark blue. That's weird, why would you say that, Mark? Because uh, I do this a lot professionally. And from my friend Ari when we're uh, hanging out and doing VR fun. And I'm also the person who had the crappy blue tape. Well, I used to do that too. Your joists are four feet apart, two feet apart. So we're going to have to work with that. All right. There we go. About like that. Okay. Sixty-nine and a half. I need, a, and a half. I need a better tape measure like that. Mine's just old. Uh, go get a paper plate or a dish you can hold underneath this to catch any dust that'll fall on your black. Or a bath towel. I could do that too. Go grab it. <laughs> Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. I don't know, Mr. Obvious. It's making a lot of noise. Every time I flip the switch, it gets angry at me. All right, and that'll swivel oh so nice and not tear up the ceiling. Ooh, look at that. Oh, now it's blurry. There we go. Nice. Ooh, getting there. All right, that was 69 and a half. The next one is over here. Mm. Now you'll note, before we did any of the work, we marked out effectively where we're gonna put things. Always important to do that side of the stuff. Begin with the end in mind. Yep. That's a little bit to the left. Where's that pen? Uh, oh, there it is. Hi, it's Mark. Here's how we configured our D-ring uh, swivel suspense from the uh, ceiling joists. This is a common D-ring. It's got a side that's flat to the ceiling and a side that's offset, so we want the flat side to the ceiling. We're going to use a common 2-inch drywall screw. I like the yellow zinc, but a common drywall screw, 2 inches Phillips drive should work fine. And a couple of quarter-inch washers. These happen to be stainless common quarter-inch washers should work fine. So to set up your configuration for your D-rings is to put a washer on the drywall screw. And as it will point to the ceiling, we want this flat part here to be to the ceiling. So it's going to come in like this. Might need a little persuasion. Parts fit nicely. And the quarter inch washer keeps it from slipping off. And then we add a second washer on top of that so that when it's against the ceiling it can swivel freely. There it is, the configuration of a two inch drywall screw, two quarter inch washers, and a picture hanging D-ring for your ceiling swivels. Mm. What we've got now is we've got all our different pulleys and we're gonna just go connect them. We haven't taken the VR headset and done any of that work yet, but we're gonna take each of these and we're gonna put them on each of the joists that we have here or pardon me, each of the D-rings that we have over here, just to get a lay of the land so we can be prepared to basically connect these to the, the cable of the Windows Mixed Reality unit. Which, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's Windows Mixed Reality or Oculus Rift or uh, HTC Vive. 
the whole point is that you're suspending a cable. Now this will be fun because we're not 100% sure whether this cable is going to be long enough. I hope it is because we've done all this work for like 15, 20, 30 <laughs> minutes. And uh, let's, let us pray. So, always do this safely. Have a friend with you. Uh, in this case, I I'm using the VR, V-E-E-R system, but they're all kind of the same. You'll see it's got a cute little rubber band here, all right? And this is the part that's hanging down. So don't reverse this. <laughs> uh, important, see how we had that swivel? That's why we left a little of, uh, play here. So as this moves around, we're not messing anything up. Yay. Now we're gonna go do this for the rest of them. So we'll move the ladder each time. And very easy, rinse repeat kind of motion. Sure, we do this the right way. These rubber bands are interesting. All right, and then there's the third one, which what I do with the other one again? Oh, here, hand me that one right there. Just one of them. Thanks. And I'll just move this safety first, kids. and springy nice and stable and we're done with this part now the the goal of this is we're going to have a third one in the middle here and we're going to go get a ring basically what a key ring is and bring this all together and have another joist or another uh, pulley that goes down and uh i'm trying to remember the name of the guy uh, i think his name was thrill Thrill, yeah, Thrill had was mentioning this idea of having this kind of uh, triforce of power here uh, for less stress and better movement, and it, it seems like the right way to do it. So we're going to try that, um, and you'll see it in the finished product, assuming our cable's long enough. So this is the ring that I'm talking about. I just basically, uh, I didn't have one ready you know, like that I bought at the store, but you could go get one. I just basically took it right off my car keys, <laughs> you know, but I imagine that you've got some key ring that you're not using somewhere that, you know, someone got you for free, <laughs> but it'll be good enough. You're not putting that much weight on it. Um, and really you're just, it's just going to be a central point. So you'll see that in a moment. Okay. So the way we need to do this, uh, in order I have to prevent a lot of mechanical sound of these hitting that key ring that we're talking about or o-ring uh we're gonna use these rubber bands which they should give plenty of play and they look like they're strong enough that they shouldn't cause much trouble so the way we do this is and we're going to do the same thing for all three of these we're not going to record all that uh we loop this through and then or pardon me we're going to loop it through and then over, which will complete it. Okay, see, nice and tight. And then we're gonna put that, if I can get this, into this clip. Assuming I don't break it. Come on, work with me, buddy. There we go. it enough that I don't break the rubber band and there we go okay see and we're gonna do this the same for each one of these we're gonna bring this in and we're gonna bring the third one in and then we're gonna take the final joist I keep saying joist the final pulley and that one is gonna be connected in here 
And then that way, it's not loud. So we don't have the clinking, clinking of this guy. That's why. So stay tuned, and we'll have that. All right, so now uh, we've got all three connected. And you can see how nice this looks. Ooh, cool, huh? Now, um, you can see if this moves very easily. Uh, by the way, if you can get a second pair of hands when you're putting this uh, together, that would be great. Uh, uh, thanks, Mark, for helping. Because um, just getting these and the buckles and everything together, it's good to have a friend that, that can just help you get all this connected. Now, uh, the point is, is we will end up connecting this now. This is going to be the final pulley. And note that there's no noise as we move this. Hear how quiet that is? Nice and quiet. Because we don't have all the clanking. Because we use the rubber bands. Now, we're going to go and put this guy in. Okay. Hear how quiet that is as we move it. And now we have a nice, we can move around very nice. Okay, so the next step is going to be uh, get the cable connected. So before we do this, I just want to show you what things look like before we're connecting everything. So you can kind of see everything's all configured. You can see how we've got it set up with the, uh, the rubber band and the clips. Get to the other side, seeing just... Uh, the light hitting us, but just a better understanding of, of what we're about to work with. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and connect the, uh, the cable from this guy. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug him and, uh, and we're going to get this cable in there. And that's where these little rubber bands come in. Those wrap around the cable. Very similar to what we've already done here. You take a look. What we did with the rubber bands here we're going to do the same thing but to the cable and then we'll connect that to each of these pulleys you can kind of see it and then we should be good to go all right so as you can see we've connected this guy we removed the rubber bands um, and then uh, wrapped them around as you can see and connected them to the hooks. And you can see we have a lot of motion. We have a lot of movement over here. We don't have, note that there's not a lot of tightness. So we don't want to pull anything out of the ports of the computer. So make sure you've got some slack there. And you can see, once we have this on, we can, we can move around very easily now with this. And there's really very little pull. So we'll probably end up giving ourselves a little bit more uh, play, but there's, it's not gonna come off the head, which is very cool. So a lot more freedom of movement that we didn't have before, and you're not tripping over a cable. Now there's some software out there, it's called, a, it's called Turn Signal, it's free, that you can get on Steam, and it'll actually track how many times you're spinning so that you don't fray your cable. So this is a known issue on a number of VR headsets. Just the cables aren't always of the highest quality, but you're also twisting a lot, which is not good for cables anyway. So uh, getting a solution like that might help, or just in your head, keep in mind how much you're moving, <laughs> you know, and, and make sure you don't get all twisted up. Uh, so in a moment, we'll uh, wrap this up, and you'll get to see what this looks like when we're actually playing it. All right, so you can kind of see uh, we've got the whole setup here. It's all it's all ready to go. It's it's tracking really well. Uh, Mark made this really cool. You can kind of see it uh, hook, <laughs> um, and you just put it on and make sure this is tight. And now I can move around. You can see, you know, the pulley just takes care of itself. Note that this can get twisted. As, as you move around a lot, um, 
this this can twist. So you can use uh, there's a I think it's called yeah it's called um, turn signal. It's available on Steam. It's free. That's one way to prevent it. Uh, you can also just think about you know just keep in mind that you're moving around now. You don't have that cable kind of telling you that it's about to wrap through your feet, you know, and so forth. So be very careful. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm just Ari, A-U-R-I, on Twitter, at Ari. And uh, you can also go to my website, Ari.net. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, uh, anything else you'd like me to cover, please let me know. Thank you.